New Orleans gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Holiday attacking. Layup off the pick. Davis playing very well. He's got 13 rebounds, and he's played the role of the pest today, too. I mean, he's caused a bunch of turnovers. And it also tells you just how high his basketball IQ is. I mean, seeing plays develop before anyone else does on the court. Okay, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. You know, you've got to like the fact that they're getting to the line. And on top of that, they're making their free throws in this half. That bodes well going forward. And so Anthony Davis nails both of them. As a team, they're hovering around 86 to 87 percent from the line. That's exactly what you want to see. I mean, converting at that rate, that'll win you a lot of games. And he throws it down hard with one hand. And doing some dirty work on the offensive glass. And then follows it up, Greg, with heavy-duty jam on his mind with a terrific putback. Got a pigeon on that one. Easy money right there, fellas. Going old school on you, young fella. Look that up, pigeon. And it's time for an injury report. Now for an update on Anderson Verizhao's injury. Let's go to Doris. Thanks, Kevin. I just talked with Cleveland's head athletic trainer. At this point, he's saying that it looks like a level one twisted ankle. To have an injury like this happen in the NBA Finals is a tough blow for him and his team. They're up against it right now, Kevin. Thank you, Doris. Boy, you always hate to see anyone ever deal with any sort of injury. And almost for every player, it's inevitable. I mean, injuries are going to happen no matter how well you take care of yourself. And let's just hope the rehab process doesn't drag on any longer than it has to. They just can't miss. Everything they put up, it seems, goes in. You know, sometimes you're the bug, and sometimes you're the windshield. They are certainly the bugs tonight. <laughs> Nothing going their way. And, and I'm not even sure that I'd want to be the windshield. No. Uh, maybe the windshield wiper. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. <laughs> and that one's good. And that's now 28 points for Anthony Davis. He is just tearing it up this quarter. That lead's not going anywhere while he's this hot. Irving dishes to Thompson. He kicks to James. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. 30 points for LeBron. And, and that's why it's so important to really be a good screening team. You get a lot of open looks from it. Holiday, the pass to Davis. New Orleans moving it around. Davis with a screen on Irving. Right side, Davis. 13 feet away. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Chance here now for a three-point play. What a top-notch game he's had. He's gotten them in front, and it sure seemed like he's going to keep them there. All by himself, it looks like. Of course, he didn't have an attempt there in the first half. He's hoping to be a little bit more active and aggressive here and draw some fouls here in the second. The Cavaliers trail by 10. Ron right side, Harry Zhao, and two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. That one's on Evans. Oh, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. What a night so far for Verjao. 15 points, and he's added a steal to his stat line also. You know what, the number is not huge, but he has been doing some valuable defensive work for them. So Verizhao hits them both. Here's Holiday. Outside, Davis. Davis sets a screen. And that's Evans penetrating. 
Six on the shot clock. And Holiday kicks to Evans. And that one's good. Evans has got four points this quarter. They're spraying them home from mid-range today, guys. Finding the gaps in the defense and really just slicing and dicing them right now. You can tell he's in a lot of pain. They'll take a timeout so that trainer can help him out. Ladies and gentlemen, an update for us. Doris? Guys, over that last break, I listened in on Alvin Gentry's huddle. He said their plan was run their offense through Anthony Davis. Coach said the first thing they should be thinking about is getting the ball in his hands and letting him lead the way on each and every possession. So coach waiting until the final stages to pull a few tricks out of his sleeve. Kevin, let's see if he's made a wise decision. Thank you, Doris. to the inside. Perry Zhao can't hit. Clark, they can burn some clock if they want to. Yeah, and maybe buy a little oxygen while they're doing it. <laughs> Shepard against Evans. Perry Zhao dishes to Irving. Perry Zhao passes to Love. On the wing, Shepard. From deep. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Irving's got nine assists in the game. Great passing. Pelicans leading by seven. Inside, out of bounds. Pelicans ball as New Orleans keeps possession. Gordon's checked in for New Orleans. And Douglas Roberts kicks to Gordon. Holiday dishes to Davis. 11 feet away, and that one goes in as he is fouled. It'll be three points if he converts at the line. They're in the position they're in right now, thanks in no small part to the show that he's putting on in this period. Well, they're making the defense pay for some of those unnecessary fouls here in the second half. If a team is going to foul you and they won't play defense without fouling you, then make them pay. Cash in from the line. You know, obviously, he, you know, there's some things out there he does not like and wants to talk it over. Well, Greg, you play and you uh, envision yourself as a coach as well. So, you know, sometimes uh, you need to make some adjustments. LeBron against Douglas Roberts. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by James. We've got 128 left to play here in the fourth. Outside Holiday. And there's the pass to Davis. Davis with a screen on jump, and it's Gordon penetrating. Now Cleveland moving it up. James with the ball. Shumpert, no good. It just hasn't been a very good day for him, guys. They need him to start burying some of those. And game three of the NBA championship series is all but in the books. Congrats are in order tonight on an outstanding effort and a well-deserved victory for the Pelicans. Good point, Steve. And Clark, they had to battle for this win. There were times when it looked like it was 
maybe slipping away a bit, but they never let that happen, which I thought was a real credit to them. I like their fortitude, their toughness, particularly in terms of dealing with adversity. Anytime things didn't go their way, they just put their nose down and stayed with it. And because of that, they were able to pull away. A fantastic show. And, and what an amazing all-around game it was for Anthony Davis. You have to love the way that he was closing out on defensive trips. He would always body up, and it's why he ended with so many boards. Nine seconds left to play in the final quarter. Wasted no time on that one. And he came off that screen, and the D just didn't get over the top of it. Yep, weren't there in time enough to challenge Greg, and when that's the case, you can mark those up for him. Here's Cole. Ashik with a screen on Williams. Here's Cole. Here's Pondexter. It's rebounded by Richard Jefferson. Williams for three, offline. So we see the Pelicans get the win here, and they've edged in front in the series after an outstanding performance here in game three. Kevin, it sure was. When teams split the first two games of a series, game three means everything. They're going into game four now, riding that high after this win. And now we'll send it down to Doris Burke, who's standing by courtside. Tyreek, what was the focus on strategy for this team coming into tonight's game? Playing hard, you know. Uh, you know, we had a meeting today as a team, and uh, we just wanted to come in here and play hard with energy. You know, that's where it starts from. You know, and, uh, we did a great job that tonight. Tyreek, thank you, Kevin. Amazing what can happen when you play hard. All right, Doris, great job. Thanks so much. Well, that'll do it. Thanks for joining us for Game Three of the NBA Finals. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. And we send you now over to Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kenny the Jet Smith. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Thank you, Kevin. And now we get a chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Anthony Davis. He had just an outstanding fourth quarter performance. He really had the fire lit under him and down the stretch, really having a huge impact on the outcome of this game. He was dead on from the field tonight, guys. I'd call his performance economical because there was no wasted opportunities. He took advantage of every good look he got. I mean, everything he put up was going in. Without his leadership and his spectacular play tonight, they wouldn't be holding the lead in this series. The bottom line is they are now in the driver's seat. Looking very good and going forward like me and my convertible. And we hope you enjoyed tonight's game as much as we did, though that is doubtful. For Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny Smith, Kevin Harlan, and the 2K Sports crew, I'm Ernie Johnson. Good night, and we'll see you for more NBA Finals action coming up soon.